Hello, hello, hello. This is Ross Fertel, faithful leader on the forums, here for the second day of Alternate Universe Twilight, and I'm just going to title this episode Tarok Alternor. If you don't mind the puns, thank you very much. If you do, sorry, kind of comes with the territory. And I'm, I'm going to start with was probably the least interesting of the cards revealed today. Um, Terok Nor, not the one you're thinking of, the one from 20 years ago during the occupation. Um, it's a U. Has what you're expecting it to have. Yeah. Terok Nor 20 years ago. Uh, but it's the time location where we things really get interesting with the Singta refugee camp. Uh, so with that, you're kind of getting a subset of Cardassian cards. Um, you could play your um, Bajuran cards there too, but yeah, you probably want your Cardassian cards. Or you could just get Comfort Women out. And then all your Bajurans become Cardassian dissidents anyway. Um, one of these cards less gives them Terak Nor in their lore. So yeah, you're probably going to use I Miss This Office and some other things that you'd use with the tech. So in terms of card economy, you're about the same. Like you save the seed slot with the facility by using the seed slot for the time location. Um, you're probably using your process or, but the big advantage, probably one of the biggest advantages you have is that if your opponent is not set up to time travel, you do not have to worry about your station being commandeered. And that is a very, very important thing. Um, I took a look at things. There's not too many shenanigans that you can do with this cards are being worded correctly, which is a big plus. I'll try and have a link down below in the show notes. Um, well, links, I should say, because AU Bajurans, AU Cardassians, Universal Ships, hopefully I'm limiting these to just East Space Nine. But there, there's a lot of fun things you can do. Probably the biggest trick you can do is with your Bajuran females. That includes Akira and a Dax, and I believe at least one oh, Kaiopaka. All these personnel have the orb icons. So Trek Sense is taking a huge hit, but this opens up the door to so many things. You've got Bajor. You can return the orb to Bajor, I believe. I mean, they are still Bajorans. I don't have the card text in front of me, so I'm not sure how well this works. But if it does work, there's some really cool things you can do with that orb icon. Uh, particularly since you're using Beige or anyway, you could use one of your seeds for the wormhole time location. And then you've got an extra card draw on top of process or. So there are some tricks you can do with these. This is just scratching the surface. I wasn't initially sold on this. But looking at the cards that are out there, there are some pretty cool things you can do. And I am eager to see what some people in the community come up with. Uh, so that's all that I have for today. Um, thank you very much for listening. Uh, we'll see what tomorrow has to offer. But yeah, uh, cool cards that are made and new, well not new deck type, but modification of an existing deck type. And yeah, can't wait to see what comes out there. Thanks for listening and have a good one. Bye-bye.